In August 1978 Mercedes-Benz presented the second-generation anti-lock braking system, ABS, developed together with Bosch, to the press in Unterturkim. The world first enables a driver to retain steering control even during emergency braking. From December the innovation became available, initially in the S-Class sedans, 116 series. An anti-lock braking system had been on the automotive engineer's list of wishes for decades, it was, after all, expected to improve handling safety drastically by retaining steerability during braking. As early as 1928 the German Karl Wessel had been granted a patent on a braking force regulator for automobiles, but this design only existed on paper. Nevertheless, these first attempts set the course, an anti-lock braking system had to have sensors for measuring the speeds of each front wheel, as well as a control unit for recording and comparing the data measured by the sensors. This control unit was to correct excessive deviations by individually controlling the brake pressure at every wheel up to the point at which the wheel is about to lock. In the car, the demands on the mechanical friction wheel sensors were much higher, they had to register decelerations and accelerations in wheel speeds, they had to react reliably in corners and on rough ground and work perfectly even when heavily soiled and at high temperatures. At the time, electronics still worked on the basis of analog technology which was relatively susceptible to failure and consisted of complicated circuitry. Integrated modules did not yet exist. And yet, this proved to be a first, promising approach. For this reason, Daimler-Benz introduced this first generation of an anti-lock braking system for cars, trucks, and buses to the public on the test track in Unterturkim on December 12, 1970, with a resounding echo by an enthusiastic expert world and press. The principle had been found to be convincing. Another eight years passed before Daimler-Benz was able to offer a reliably functioning anti-lock braking system for production cars, this time was required to give the prototype the degree of technical maturity and reliability that is indispensable for large-scale production. Thus, it had taken a long, long time before Mercedes-Benz became the world's first motor manufacturer in August 1978 to officially launch the second-generation anti-lock braking system and to offer it as an option from December 1978, initially in the S-Class. Ten years after the introduction, as many as one million Mercedes-Benz cars with ABS were being operated on the roads throughout the world. Thanks to digital technology, the electronic components were capable of recording, comparing, evaluating and transforming sensor data into governor pulses for the brake solenoid valves within milliseconds. What's more, not only the front wheels but also the rear wheels were included in the control operations. Mercedes-Benz also adopted a pioneering role where ABS for commercial vehicles was concerned. As early as 1981 ABS was offered for compressed air brakes, a joint development with Wabco. ABS has been standard equipment on all touring coaches of the brand since 1987 and on all trucks of the brand since 1991. In late 1990, ABS also found its way into the Mercedes-Benz racing cars for the German Touring Car Championship. ABS development never stops. The complete control system is becoming ever smaller, ever more effective, ever more robust. The initial, typical pulsating of the brake pedal, indicating ABS activation, has largely been eliminated today. If the anti-lock braking system is today taken for granted in virtually all cars of the majority of automotive brands throughout the world, we owe this to the commitment of the large number of engineers and technicians at Daimler-Benz and cooperation partners Bosch, Teldex and Wabco, who searched for the best solution for this system which improves handling safety, avoids accidents, and saves lives.